OK, so we did add, we did subtract. The next one, obviously, is just to follow the pattern, right? Just like how you guys learned in your earlier days, you add, subtract. Now we're going to multiply. So what we have in this case is we have f times g of x. There's no operation symbol between the f and the g, so that tells us to multiply. So what this tells us is f of x times g of x. So that means 2x times negative 4x plus 5. Right? Make sure you apply, make sure you put the parentheses in there. So then you guys can make sure you follow distributive property. So this becomes a negative 8x squared plus 10x. And so we could say f of g of x. Now here's the question. If I were to do g of f of x, would I have the same answer or a different answer? Yeah, the same, right? Because 3 times 4 is the same as 4 times 3, so it's not going to matter. So that would be the same answer as well. Just wanted to throw that out there because what we're going to do next is a little bit different. 